We're now just one month away from the 50th anniversary of NASA's Apollo 11 mission to the Moon, and owners of some seriously sought-after space relics are putting their memorabilia on the auction block in the hopes of capitalizing on the hype. RR Auction is hosting the bidding for a number of rare artifacts that traveled to the Moon decades ago and as you might expect, prices are out of this world. Among the items being offered is a roll of 70mm film that was taken to the moon during the Apollo 11 mission, as well as an American flag that traveled around the moon during the Apollo 15 campaign. The flag, which measures just under 6 inches on its longest side, was carried to the South Pole in January of 1970 and then made the trip to space in the command module Endeavour on the Apollo 15 mission. It's also signed by Dave Scott, commander of the mission, and comes with a letter of certification, also signed by Scott. Related slideshow, provided by Photo Services. The MW-18014, a V-2 guided ballistic missile, was launched at the Peenemünde Army Research Center in Nazi Germany. It reached an altitude of 109 miles 176 kilometers, above the Earth's surface. Weighing 184 pounds, 84 kilograms, Sputnik 1, a metal sphere with a diameter of 23 inches, 58 centimeters, was launched by the Soviet Union into an elliptical low Earth orbit, giving the Russians a first W and in the space race. The spacecraft completed an Earth orbit every 96.2 minutes and transmitted a series of beeps that could be monitored around the world. Pictured, replica of Sputnik 1. Laika, a three-year-old stray dog from the streets of Moscow, USSR, was sent up to space in Sputnik 2. Scientists believe the animals could help understand the effect of space flight on humans. However, since they hadn't yet, at the time, figured out the technology to orbit, it was a one-way flight. Laika died soon after her flight, possibly from overheating caused by a malfunctioning spacecraft. American satellite Explorer 6 transmitted crude pictures of a sunlit area of the Central Pacific Ocean in its cloud cover while it was crossing Mexico. Although no human has ever stood on the far side of the moon, Soviet-era space probe Luna 3 was the first to take photographs of the area. The probe took 29 images, they were of low resolution, but many features could still be identified, such as the Mare Moscow Vienz, the dark spot in the upper right corner. NASA launched the Pioneer 5 space probe, via Thor Able 4 rocket, to investigate the interplanetary space between Earth and Venus. The probe would provide information on solar flares, radiation and interplanetary magnetic fields. Soviet cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin completed an orbit of the Earth on the Vostok 1. This was Gagarin's first and only space flight. The flight lasted 108 minutes and Gagarin parachuted out of the capsule when it was 4.3 miles 7 kilometers from the planet's surface. However, he didn't man the mission, it was controlled either by an autopilot mechanism or from the ground. American astronaut Alan Shepard piloted the Mercury Redstone 3, also called Freedom 7, to demonstrate humans could withstand the high gravitational forces of launch and landing. He completed a 15-minute suborbital flight before landing in the North Atlantic, off the coast of the Bahamas, with Shepard still inside. Cosmonaut Valentina Tereshkova completed 48 orbits of the Earth in three days. She was awarded the title of Hero of the Soviet Union, on return in the United Nations Gold Medal of Peace. Voskhod II pilot Alexei Leonov completed a 12-minute spacewalk when he left the craft to attach a camera to the end of the airlock. An endeavor to mark a space milestone, it could have cost Leonov his life since his suit was overpressurized, and he almost suffered a heat stroke. Fortunately, all ended well and the cosmonaut was recorded floating in space before safely re-entering the spacecraft. NASA's Mariner 4 became the first man-made object to successfully fly by Mars. It transmitted 21 images of the Martian surface, which showed deep craters, like those on the surface of the moon, and no signs of life.
Russia's Luna 9 accomplished a lunar landing by deploying a landing bag to survive the impact. The unmanned spacecraft landed undamaged near the Oceanus Procellarum in the onboard television camera system took photographs of the surface. This was the first time photos were transmitted to Earth from the surface of another celestial object. Apollo 8 departed from Earth's orbit at 6 hours 10 minutes and 17 seconds coordinated universal time, going into lunar orbit and circling it 10 times. Commander Frank Borman, Command Module Pilot James Lovell and Lunar Module Pilot William Anders marked a list of firsts that include, first, humans to see the Earth as a whole, enter the gravitational force of another celestial object, to photograph Earth from space, see the far side of the Moon and see an Earth rise. Apollo 11 mission commander Neil Armstrong made history when he set foot on the Moon. Along with astronaut Buzz Aldrin, pictured, Armstrong landed the lunar module at 2018 coordinated universal time and 6. Hours later, stepped outside. He was joined by Aldrin some 20 minutes later. Armstrong and Aldrin also became the first humans to take pictures on and off the moon. Lunokhod 1 was the first of two unmanned rovers launched by the Soviet Union. Weighing 1,667 pounds, 756 kilograms, it landed in the Mare Imbrium, also called Sea of Showers or Sea of Rains. The Soviets launched the first space station of any kind, the Salyut 1 R, to conduct tests and scientific research in low Earth orbit. An accident on Soyuz 11 forced the Soviets to halt their space missions as their capsules had to be redesigned. This took too long and it was decided to terminate the Salyut 1 after 175 days. Pictured artist rendering of a Soyuz spacecraft docking with Salyut 1. The Pioneer 10, launched on March 2, 1972, became the first spacecraft to enter the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. It would become the first to fly by Jupiter in December 1973. Pictured, artist rendering of Pioneer 10 moving away from the Sun. The Apollo-Soyuz test project's aim was the first joint U.S.-Soviet spaceflight. With a mission to develop space rescue capability, the American unnumbered Apollo module and Soviet Soyuz 19 docked with each other in space on July 17, 1975, marking the first such link-up of spacecraft from the two nations. The mission also marked the end of the space race. The Venera 9 unmanned Soviet mission, that launched in June 8, 1975, became the first spacecraft to orbit Venus. The craft landed near the Bay de Reggio area on the planet and took images of the Venusian surface that were transmitted to the Earth. NASA's maiden orbiter, Space Shuttle Columbia, was launched with two crew members, John W. Young and Robert L. Crippen. The mission was called STS-1 and Columbia orbited the Earth 37 times. Before landing at Edwards Air Force Base in California, the U.S. on April 14, 1981, becoming the first reusable, manned spacecraft. Cosmonaut Svetlana Savitskaya conducted an extravehicular activity, EVA, for over three hours, cutting and welding metal outside the Salyut 7 space station. She is, to date, the only Soviet woman to walk in space. Space Shuttle Challenger started breaking up 73 seconds after liftoff. It exploded shortly after, killing all seven crew members on board, including schoolteacher Krista McAuliffe. She was a civilian selected from thousands of applications for the NASA Teacher in Space project. Pictured, clockwise from L. Ellison Onazuka, McAuliffe, Gregory Jarvis, Judith Resnick, Ronald McNair, Francis, Dick Scobie and Michael J. Smith. MERS base block was launched into orbit by a Soviet proton launcher, becoming the world's first modular space station, assembled over the ten years it was orbiting Earth. During its 15 years of service, it remained the largest artificial satellite in orbit. The Voyager 1, launched in 1977, took the first-ever family portrait of the solar system. It was a mosaic of 60 images that only showed six planets since Mercury was too close to the Sun. 
To be seen, Mars could not be detected by the camera and Pluto was too small. The Sun was seen in the center as just a point of light. Cosmonaut Valery Polyakov lived aboard the Mir space station for just over 437 days continuously. His combined space-time, over multiple missions, is more than 22 months. His residency was helpful for scientists to study the biomedical effects of long-term space flight. Mars Pathfinder took four minutes to enter the Martian atmosphere and land in the Aries Vallis region. It deployed the Sojourner rover soon after, which conducted experiments to analyze the atmosphere, climate, and geology of the planet. The first module of the International Space Station ISS was launched by a Russian proton rocket. The world's first multinational space station would continue to grow over subsequent missions until it became the largest man-made object in Earth's orbit and the largest satellite of Earth. The station has also been continuously occupied for more than 16 years, making it the longest continuous human presence in space. A Delta II rocket carried Kepler, NASA's first planet-hunting spacecraft, on its mission to look for Earth-like exoplanets. It would orbit the Sun every 372 days, observing an area and selecting stars for further study. Pictured, artist's rendering of Kepler's spacecraft. American millionaire and engineer Dennis Tito flew to the ISS on the Soyuz TM-32. He is believed to have paid zero million and returned safely after an eight-day trip. The near Shoemaker Space Probe's mission to asteroid 433 Eros started in 1996 and ended with the probe landing on its surface. It collected data on the asteroid's composition and magnetic field, with the last data signal being received by NASA on February 28, 2001. Pictured, visualization of 433 Eros. SpaceX's Falcon 9 delivered the unmanned Dragon cargo spacecraft into orbit so that it could rendezvous with the International Space Station. The Dragon was also the first American vehicle to visit the International Space Station since the end of the Space Shuttle program. Pictured, the Dragon craft is grappled by ISS, robotic arm. The European Space Agency's Rosetta probe reached the orbit of Comet 67P, Churyumov Gerasimenko on August 6, 2014, and its lander module finally successfully landed on the comet's surface. New Horizons Space Probe, launched in 2006, performed its closest flyby of Pluto, becoming the first interplanetary space probe to reach and observe the dwarf planet. After decades of eating Earth-packed food, NASA astronauts aboard the ISS managed to grow, harvest and eat red romaine lettuce in space. They cleaned the greens with citric acid base wipes. Before eating them, Russian astronaut Mikhail Kornenko R. and American Scott Kelly recorded the longest time in space for ISS crew members after their 340-day mission. They were part of a program to study the health effects of long-term space flight. The Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, blasted off 101 smaller nano-satellites and three Indian satellites in one go. The combined payload of 3,040 pounds, 1,380 kgs, was aboard the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle, PSLV. SpaceX sent a previously used Falcon 9 into space, carrying communication satellites. The first stage of the rocket had been used in an April 2016 NASA mission. It successfully returned to Earth and landed on a drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. The private space company successfully completed the flight of the Falcon Heavy that can lift up to 141,000 pounds, 64 metric tons, a mass greater than a 737 fully loaded jetliner. During its demo flight, the huge rocket launched Elon Musk's cherry red Tesla Roadster and its dummy astronaut, Starman, pictured, into orbit around the sun. As interesting as that story is, the role of 70mm film from the Apollo 11 mission might have a beat. 
extremely rare second-generation 70 in positive film role from magazine S of the Apollo 11 Hasselblad camera, containing 126 of the most iconic images from the first lunar landing mission. The role features photographs taken by Commander Neil Armstrong and Lunar Module Pilot Buzz Aldrin during their historic two-and-a-half-hour Lunar EVA at Tranquility Base on July 20, 1969 with color images including, moments from inside the Lunar Module Eagle immediately prior to Armstrong leaving the spacecraft. 